Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example we look to something that we call vectors. Right? We have two vectors which are given in this format as two order pairs. So let me change the color here. Uh, vector RS and vector PQ. And they want us to see if they are equivalent vector. So one way to do it is a graphical way. So let's take a look how we do that. We just simply plot the points and I'm going to start with RS. So point R is negative 4 and 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is point R and point S negative 1 and 5. 1, left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is point S. And we're going to draw this arrow, or this direct segment, it starts from R, goes to S, start to S, right? Okay, we're going to do the same thing for the other one. We're going to graph it. We have 0 is 0, and 3 and negative 2 will be right here. If you notice, these two vectors have the same length and the same direction. They are equivalent vector. But now let me show the algebraic way, which is right here down on the bottom of this presentation. If you notice, we have what we call here a component form of a vector. So let's see how we get that for PQ, since I have the blue marker. PQ will be, in the component form, will be 3 minus 0. So you notice here x to minus x1 comma, negative 2, minus 0, y to minus 1. So PQ will be nothing else than 3 and negative 2. <coughs> and similar we're going to do for the, the other one, RS. The component form of the RS, if we are going to use the same formula, it's going to be negative 1 minus negative 4 and uh, 5, 5 minus 7. So obviously we're going to get positive 3, negative 2. In this moment you can see these two vectors are the same vector, they have the same component form. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.